Hi everybody. I had a collar design idea and I wanted to bring you guys along with me as I do it to show you how easy it is. So at first I was thinking about taking the collar stand off, but I really just want to do the collar. So I'm going to mark the collar stand right here so that when I redesign the collar and put it back, I will know where it needs to go without having to remeasure. And I think it would be pretty easy because along this area right here is basically top stitched. So I think it would be really easy to just remove it, redesign and put it back on using a top stitch. Now, the first thing you're going to do is remove the collar. Now, you might wonder why would you want to remove your collar and redesign it? It could just be as easy as um, wanting to make it a little more individual to match your personality, or maybe you have a stain, but whatever the reason, it's super easy. Now this right here is your seam allowance, and it's about a quarter inch. Now you can design the whole collar back here, but you have to keep in mind the width that it needs to be. This area out here is where the design happens. Okay, the first thing, the first thing we're going to do is um, outline the collar. Now you can do it this way, but to get these correct um, would be difficult to do it like that. So I'm going to fold it and you could actually do this on a folded piece of paper, design it, cut it out, and then you'll have the full collar, but I'm going to do it like this. This will be my fold line. Align the folded edge up to that line and then just outline it. And if you watched my last video, I believe it was my last video, I showed some, some colors that I had designed for a client and friend. Now this is the area that's going to be uh, sewn to the collar stand. It, this has the quarter inch seam allowance. Now this is where you just do your design and this is what I had in mind. So I'm going to take this line here and I'm going to extend it by a full inch. and then bring the tip down. And what I'm trying to do is blend it here nicely to the end of that line that I just made. So you just keep moving your ruler until you get what you want. So it's blending here and it's meeting here. Okay, so that's our new collar. Sorry you guys, my table's wobbly. I, try, I have to try to remember not to move the table too much. Now from here, what I wanted to do is just remove that tip because I want to make a square tip collar. Now I'm going to add, sorry guys. <laughs> the seam allowance and that's going to be a quarter inch
Okay, so that is our new collar. That is the collar. This right here will align to the fold of your fabric. Okay, I aligned the line on the fold of my fabric and just, we just need to pin it down. Now, this fabric is kind of thick, so um, I'm going to do a thin white fabric on the backing for this um, tutorial. So that's what it's going to look like now for the white fabric now you guys um, people are going to have opinions um, you shouldn't cut it out that way you shouldn't put it now that way you shouldn't whatever um, if it works best for you do it I this may not be industry standards but um, I don't work for another company so this is how I do it it works for me so you guys, I encourage you to play around with it, you know. If you're doing alterations, this might be something that um, you offer your customers that maybe someone else wouldn't, or you could add um, redesign in what you offer your customers. Alright, so now you're going to put your fabrics with right sides together. And then you're going to sew from here down, around, up. You have to trim the edges and the corners. Flip it right side out, press it, put it back on your shirt. Okay, we're going to start here. And I'm going to sew it on the quarter inch mark. Alright you guys, it's time to get the collar back on. This is what it looks like. And when you put the collar on, you're going to have the inside facing you. And you will just slide this in here at the quarter inch mark. And if it helps, make a mark for the quarter inch.
I would not recommend using the yellow chalk when making your clothing unless it's going to be somewhere where you can't see. This one you will be able to see because I have to make sure that I can see the mark when I put the shirt back into, or the collar back into the shirt. Sorry, I'm distracted by the threads. So I put a mark here, and that's how I know that this is going in there. I guess I should have marked the other side so you can see it but no one will be wearing this. Okay, now we're just gonna sew it back on. Nice and easy. So when you do this, just try to make sure that you match up your needle to where the original stitching ends. You don't want that to be really visible. Okay, the only problem I, I can think of with this is if the back of the collar or the back of the collar stand didn't get caught up in the stitching. But we're gonna check that out. So this is what the front looks like. And the back, guys, look. Okay, it looks like it went off right here which is not bad. We can go over and do that again. But it turned out pretty good. The only thing is uh, with this, if I would have pinned it a little closer together, that probably would have taken care of that. But that's not a big deal. I can go over and do that again. You guys, I didn't think I was going to like it, but I kind of do. Um, I do like the um, squared collar tips um i kind of think it gives it a more of a casual look but i i kind of like it what do you guys think let me know in the comments if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you're not a subscriber consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified when i upload more videos